Previously on Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, I completely forgot that that was the cave that you're supposed to get Gibble, so now we don't get Gibble. Hello everyone, and welcome to another adventure of the Pokemon Nuzlocke Platinum Edition version whatever. Um, today's a training episode, so that's why there's a little bit more lax in what I'm doing the intro here. Um, as promised, I am doing a training, so this is the full training. Nobody died. Some people did evolve. Big Oof did evolve. I also made some team changes. I took out um, Guragi and replaced him with um, Uomosumi. And then I also, for the plan, I've taken out Staravia and put in... Not Staravia, uh, Soyrock and put in... Um, fucking asshole, who I will be renaming at a later date, uh, because I realized he's extremely annoying to fight. And after talking to my brother, he's like, well, he's not bad. I'm like, eh. And now that I think about it, he has Psychic as well as Steel, so he could actually not instantly get killed by um, Lucario when the time comes. But anyway, this is the training. Getting a lot of dudes to at least 20, and in the next episode we should start normal. I think the main people who got trained here are Dom and Big Oof, um, with a little bit of training towards um, uh, Raiders fan. Raiders fan, we need to get you to your Golbat, because literally I can't train you like the other Pokemon, because you are constantly at the risk of dying. It is amazing how, like, even during this training, specifically like Tiny Arc, like the tiniest of moves, you were like so close to dying. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to lose a Pokemon before anything. Zubat just has like terrible, terrible defense. Um, it might also be the fact that he's fighting Pokemon that only have two stages of evolution, so they have much more attack at their beck and call, but he needs to be Golbat already. He's pretty close though. He didn't get there in this level because I literally kept having to swap him out. There was literally no one he could fight. Um, except for tiny Pokemon. Uh, Ponyta completely wrecks his shit if he's not careful. Um, which is unfortunate, but... Oh, man. Other than that, what else do I want to talk about today? So, while I was grinding, I was... So, this is going to be a very lax episode, so I'm just going to kind of talk to you for ten minutes or so. Um, in terms of the what the what where the current station of the Nuzlocke is going, I think we're in a better place now. I'm still not... I'm gonna be honest, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to be able to beat this. Um, things are looking bad, because literally every move right now at the beginning is just like literally killing me. Um, but for now, we continue to soldier on. Um, and I'm gonna have to, even now, even this team is temporary, because eventually... The problem is, is that my type coverage is terrible like when you look at it i have like too many i have too many types that interfere with each other and not enough of us that can take down a specific type but they will eventually um like we don't really have an answer for an electric type yet and the answer is coming whenever um grazy evolves or when dom evolves but then at that point when dom evolves and grazy evolves we have two earth types on the team and we can't have that I already have another big problem with Big Oof being a freaking water type slash normal. So whatever normal type, whatever water type gets introduced to the team, and I can't let Big Oof die. At a certain point, I think I'm gonna have to take out Big Oof and keep because he's too important as the HM slash TM slave for us to risk him in a battle. Even though I think as as he is right now in Bavaria, he ends up being kind of strong. Doesn't know any good moves, but he is pretty strong. But yeah, other than that, I've just been kind of, you know, doing stuff. Tregalia got really busy right now, so I've been kind of working on that. Um, I've been asked to do some... No, not asked. It was more like someone said, like, hey, can you um, help me with editing a video? And I said, yeah, okay, I can do that. And then that <laughs> it takes away time from everything else, but it's okay because I want to help them out too. Uh, trials and tribulations, man. It's not easy doing this stuff, especially when you have so little time to sleep. And then all the Dragalia stuff is popping off right now, so of course. And I've been having, like, specific video ideas that I want to do, but it's like... Trying to juggle wanting to have a normal day 
with also having the idea that you have to keep recording and you have to keep doing stuff. And I'm also live streaming at the same time. Occasionally two hours of live streaming. I, I play different games on the live stream there. Um, it's not easy, man. It's not easy whatsoever. Um, it's a lot to balance. I also, there's also a new Monster Hunter game, so I've been playing that a little bit. That's been fun. I've been liking Monster Hunter Rise a good bit. I've only been playing the very beginning of it, but um, I've liked I've liked the changes that they made. I feel like the changes they made were with me in mind, because it feels a little bit more fun. Here's the thing about Monster Hunter, and you can disagree with me. Um, Monster Hunter's combat is not fun. But it is deliberate. So in a way, all the specific actions that you do, the enemies have to follow the same rules. So it ends up kind of being this stake of like, okay, you have to be very smart and methodical. And in some in some cases, it can be kind of fun to some people. But to me, it always feels like what I want to actually do is be Devil May Cry and that doesn't let me have to do this. Like, I feel like they've given a little bit more stuff for people like me to kind of have fun with, enjoy with it, but at the same time, it still feels like it's still very much is like the Monster Hunter formula. Now I say it's not fun, but at the same time, the reason I'm saying it's not fun is because you have to put a lot of time into it. Um, and when you put a lot of time into it, then it becomes fun. Um, but I don't really have a lot of that specific time to dedicate to one game. <laughs> So I end up always choosing the same weapons, like Insect Glaive and Monster Hunter World, and I think I'm going Dual Blades in this one, because um, it's been a while. Dual Blades was actually my first weapon. I think Dual Blades is the most fun, um, because you get to do all the crazy combo shit, and then you also have a bunch of evades, which is nice. I like evading. Um, I'm not a big fan of the shield stuff. I'm not a big fan of shields in general. <laughs> If a game has a evade or a shield, I prefer to have evade. I think evade is a much more fun concept in a game where you just gotta kind of evade stuff as opposed to just shielding it. I don't know. I've never personally liked shields in Vigi games. I'm trying to think of like the one shield that I really like. Smash Brothers, yeah, because the the shield can be used to also. Um, the shield is a way to also get into the quick dodge thing, so I think that's maybe one of the few shields that I kind of like. Dragon Quest shield is okay because it automatically just defends for you. It's it's a random number, so I think that shield's pretty okay. Um, hmm. But yeah, other than that, like I've been playing it and I've been having a lot of fun. I I actually really do like Monster Hunter. I always put a decent amount of hours into a Monster Hunter game before I just completely fall off of it. Um, but Monster Hunter Rise has been pretty damn fun so far, so I kind of want to keep going into it. I kind of want to keep playing it. Um, maybe I'll make a video of it eventually. It's such a pain in the ass to set up the Switch, though, for recording. You have no idea how fucking terrible it is to set up the Switch for to be recording online. Actually, you know, maybe I could do a stream. Turn off the internet access to... Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be pretty fun. I just pulled it. Congratulations, Corrupted Squid. <laughs> Corrupted skid and pump. <laughs> Congrats on the Galanaut. Oh man. I love reading comments that people send me in. It's a shame it's mostly for gotcha stuff. It's like, you know, mostly fake Grand Order. Pokemon occasionally too. I enjoy ev reading every single comment. Um, it's a shame it can't happen to every single video, but I understand. You know, I'm a very similar person. I can't, like, fault people being like, why don't they talk to me when I specifically don't do that? Like, I think the only person I comment on is occasionally Zenrots and Defreeze, and that's it. I think on specifically Gorish's Dokkan videos I do, but it's under, like, very specific um, stances. Like, if he's talking about, like, something that's like he's like i don't understand i didn't know that gohan was so popular and it's like oh no ultimate gohan is extremely popular are you kidding me um especially on the global side i think that was the thing that surprised him is like on the global side but yeah it, it used to be it's crazy people love specifically ultimate gohan i think it's because ultimate gohan to them symbolizes the ultimate potential of gohan and so it was the last it was the last fleeting moments before Gohan went on to have a very happy life. Who, and, and before Gohan went on to be a man who enjoyed life, was a good husband, was a good son, was a good everything. Um, 
all the things that shonen fans don't like <laughs> no, there's nothing fa that shonen fans hate more than someone with a happy family life it's like spider-man like spider-man isn't allowed to have a family because marvel's like if he's not a teenager then no one's gonna like him that's why fucking spider-man is that's why sam raimi spider-man is so good because he's allowed to be an adult because sam raimi realized like teenage spider-man who gives a fuck about that and he's right you know why Amazing Spider-Man. Nobody likes any of the high school stuff. It is the most high school uh, Spider-Man movie that's ever been released. Nobody liked any of the shit there. Um, the new Spider-Man movies in the MCU don't have a shit to do with being in fucking high school. I don't understand why he's a high schooler at all. It, it seems like it's like, oh yeah, he's just a kid, but then like he's doing shit that doesn't make sense for a high schooler to do. He doesn't act like a high schooler at all. Uh, none of his friends look like fucking high schoolers. Um, for that's for damn sure. Um, and I think maybe the only one that kind of does is Into the Spider-Verse. I think, yeah, that's the only one that kind of fits, but I think it's because it's telling a very different story. Um, it's not the same teenage Spider-Man story. The, the main problem is that it's always Peter. Peter isn't allowed to grow up, but it's different for Miles because Miles is kind of like... That's his thing, is that Miles is, like, the new up-and-coming Spider-Man. And eventually, I think there should be a time where Miles eventually grows up and becomes a new Spi the new Spider-Man of everything, and then, you know, you find a new kid Spider-Man and start shit over all over again. I think that's the way that you should kind of go. But that's never gonna happen. The chances of what's gonna happen is that eventually things get rebooted, Spider-Man returns back to being a white teenager, eventually Miles shows up, and then... Bob's your uncle for about 10 years and then we reset everything again but that's the end of today's video everyone i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> hope you enjoyed me talking to you a little bit i always appreciate everyone who watches especially the pokemon find them stuff you guys are great for watching continually watching every saturday for this experiment that i'm doing i think i might switch over to live stream them next time it might be more fun i think that's the next experiment after this one i like doing the edited stuff the problem is that it's a lot it's a lot of time and effort put into something that, <laughs> in the grand scheme of the channel, um, around 30 people watch. But I love all 30 of those people, because all those 30 people are the real ones. The realest people in the world are the people who watch the Pokemon Platinum stuff. The Pokemon Plat the po Pokemon Nuzlocke stuff. Same, it, same thing goes if you watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Yu-Gi-Oh! videos I did with Zen. You're the real ones. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys next week for a proper episode. Until next time, goodbye.